Look at that little scary. <laughs> Why I gotta deal with? Hey, EJ, you want to be me so bad? It is fire. <laughs> I don't know why y'all started, but you should have left that boy from DeSoto, Texas, man, eh, alone. Errol Spence, he looks to be in terrific shape. He's on vacation or at least a change of scenery. And the man looking lean. Ego Weight Watchers. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Smash the like button. Errol Spence, man, he got a big fight coming up. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. Um, Errol Spence seems to be, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but almost has a second chance of of life. And he seems to be taking every advantage of it, you know, from the outside looking in. You guys seen the clip at the beginning. He's in Cabo and he's with friends and whatnot. And he's still training, still disciplined. And y'all might have made a monster, you know, or I guess no, but I can't say y'all because the accident was at his own hands. So he made him. <laughs> he may have made a monster. And that's that's kind of a tongue twister. He may have made a monster. I think this has just caused him to overall revert back to his old stomping grounds. Back when he's an Olympian. Back when he was underestimated. Back before the Kell Brook fight. When he had, was facing the likes of Chris Algieri. Leonard Bundu. And this man might be, he might be looking like a killer. Now, he's obviously feeling himself because he says, if I'm in his image, what am I? And he posted this picture. Obviously, he got a little heavy chain. He got some drip. He got the got the mask on, mask up, mask off, mask off. And he said, a God, bro, be listening to the teachings. People were commenting. So he said he a boxing God out here, bro. Shout out to Marcus Brown as well. Um, I'm looking forward to this, man. Danny Garcia, I really rate him. This is a good fight. This is a fight supposed to happen in January. And now we're getting it late. And it's probably better this way because we've been in a the pandemic. There's you, you see Arrow in shape as we speak. He's on vacation, still in shape. I don't know, man. It might be better for the pandemic because January, if it would have happened, it would have been a week before the Super Bowl. That's cool. But this pandemic has really, you know, affected businesses and slowed up boxing. So we would have already seen it and it'd been over it. Now, in a pandemic, shout out to Al Heyman, shout out to Errol Spence, shout out to Danny Garcia, and shout out to Derek James and Angel Garcia. Talk about Danny, champ of the world. Talk about Philly, you know, because they all came together and made this do what it do. And I, I, I need this right now. <laughs> I need it. I'm looking forward to it. PBC by far has the best schedule of announced fights. And I don't care if they're pay-per-view. Stop being cheap. Stop being cheap. Support good boxing. You know, I, I'm sick of fans in the comment section. These broke fans, you know, wondering why boxing is not where it was in the 80s or whatever people are talking about. But then every time we get a great fight like Danny Garcia and Errol Spence, they'd be the first to complain. I'm not paying pay-per-view for this. Man, shut up. Pay pay-per-view or don't complain when, when boxing don't grow to your liking. But this man looked dedicated. Why would you not pay for it? I've seen Danny Garcia. I'll probably make some videos about him. But he's getting his miles in. Errol Spence is on vacation. And he's getting his miles in. This, should, this is going to be a banger because both got something to prove. Danny Garcia, he had lost recently two times keith one time you better not duck me thun thurman and he has a loss to sean porter both contested both um close fights but he lost on paper if i pull up danny garcia's uh resume he lost so this is his third big name in in a smaller space of time so he has to try to capitalize off that beyond that errol spence you see him who he's with jerry jones jerry's world Man down, Dallas Cowboys, right? So this is the dude that he bishop right now. He got the juice. He He's the dude that people are checking for. He's the guy with the two belts. And ultimately, that's what Danny Garcia 
I mean, I would imagine being a lifelong fighter, that's what he's after. This is the man of the hour. This is the most lit welterweight, in my opinion. I'm not saying, like, I, I rate Terrence Crawford. I think he's a phenomenal talent. But Errol Spence has had the bigger productions and the bigger um, just marquee fights based on who he's aligned with. This is not me reinventing the wheel. Goes without saying. You see Lennox Lewis, Mikey Garcia, Errol Spence, right? They were at Dallas Cowboys Stadium. That was colossal. I was at that fight. You know, but I, I really like this dedication that Errol Spence has been showing. And he sounds like he really got his mind right. You know, and s same with Tank. I'll be dropping some Tank videos as well. Man, the thing I like about it is you got young fighters like Errol Spence and Tank. Errol Spence, this is not his first rodeo on pay-per-view. However... It might be his biggest numbers. You know, Danny Garcia, whatever that's producing in a pandemic could probably be his his best because the first Sean Porter and the Mikey Garcia fight, they were kind of in the same echelon of numbers. This might be his biggest one yet. You know, I'm looking forward to it. And like I said, we're in a pandemic. Um, it's just a great fight. So the thing I like about one, we're in a pandemic and getting big fights that if PBC wanted to and Al Heyman wanted to. They could really stall these fights out. Say, oh, this guy wants too much money, or oh, we can't get a live great, a live gate, excuse me, and a crowd. So as a result, we ain't making it. And that's what we're seeing from a lot of networks and promoters. They're talking more about what they can't facilitate, or it's taking a month of Sundays, like Ryan Garcia, Luke Campbell. You know, I'm only here to speak the truth. Ryan Garcia, Luke Campbell, for a fight of that magnitude, is taking a while to get it over the line. Mean, meanwhile, you have PBC. And all these dudes are involved in dope fights, except for I don't know what Robert Easter got next. Hopefully he gets announced on the um, Showtime schedule and Broner. He might fight Ivan Redcash. I don't know. His, his fight hasn't been announced. But everybody else in that picture that you see, that's I just put two and two together right now. This is a freestyle video, baby. It's a freestyle video, baby. <sighs> you know, this is all off the cuff. Every one of these people in here, except for Robert Easter and Adrian Broner have an announced big fight. Derek James worked with Jermail Charlo and Errol Spence, so he's in the big fights. Zab Judah, you know, I'm not counting him. He's an OG, and he don't fight anymore. But outside of two people, this big picture, there's all fighting. Javante Tank Davis, he's in the Mayweather gym right now training with Floyd. Big pay-per-view, Leo Santa Cruz. Great fight. Great fight. Jermail Charlo. He fighting Jason Rosario off of his best career win in Philly, knocking out the Philly fighter, Julian J. Rock Williams. So that's a unification. And then you have Jamal Charlo. Same thing. Jamal Charlo is basically in what should be a unification because Devinchenko clearly, in my eyes, beat hand on guys and Max is his punches. You know, when Golovkin, when he was talking about Willie Monroe, he said, oh, his, his punch is nothing. It's tick, 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 tick. He said that to Willie Monroe. I promise you he didn't say that about Sergey Derevchenko when that fight was over because it looked like he was about to go down, maybe even get stopped. He was hurt. He was hurt. So phenomenal stuff from Premier Boxing Champions just to get this type of star appeal and have them all in big fights during a pandemic. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from the kid Errol Spence. DeSoto, Texas, y'all got one. Danny Garcia, I'm not sleeping on him. I don't know who I'm picking for this fight. All I know is it should be a good fight. Danny is a machine. You you got to watch it. That that no look left hook he be doing, he be leaning people. Shout out to Philly. Um, Errol Spence, people have questions. They want to see if he could take a punch the same. They want to see if he's the same fighter. Um, but I will say this. Smash the like button. I will say this. I like what I'm seeing. You know, without, I don't know how he could take a punch and stuff. We have to wait and see. We have to get... You know, the pay-per-view and whatnot. But what I'm seeing right now, I can tell you about that because I'm seeing it live in the flesh. Shout out to PBC. And I'm going to watch David Benavides this week, too. He's fighting a puncher and Gulo. But um, I like what I'm seeing right now. That's what I do know. Errol Spence looked dialed in. He in shape. He lean. You know, people always have something to, to say. Errol Spence, when he, he, he never looked like sloppy to me. Like, he looked bigger in his offseason, for sure. But he looked, you know, he looked more like a fullback, running back, or something like that. But he clearly was bigger than 147. People say, oh, Errol's partying too much. He needs to stop hanging with Broner. And, you know, they're saying all this stuff. 
And now I'm the only one talking this ego weight watcher where I give you a look into the fighter lifestyle before or after progress picks, especially when they have an upcoming fight. I'm giving you that ego weight watchers, AKA ill. See on my channel, I'm fair, very fair and very consistent. That's what I'm killing y'all on consistency. Again, People have all these critiques and gripes about Errol Spence when he was weighing more than 147. But those same people, they're there to complain. But now Errol Spence is looking lean down, looking sliced and looking like he coming for Danny Garcia, which is praiseworthy. Yet I'm the only one giving the praise. You know what I mean? So it just shows you old media's true intentions that they're only here to complain and they're only here to um, create confusion and things like that. November 21st, Fox pay-per-view. Props to Danny and props to Errol. This is big. It's a big fight. I'm looking forward to it. But I'm going to give credit where credit's due, especially when it comes to black fighters. That's what old media, they definitely don't do. They'll criticize the Broners and Tanks and Errol Spence. They'll say, oh, Tank need to do this. Oh, Tank's out of shape. Oh, Errol Spence, he's too big. He, you know, he's really a middleweight. He should move up the middle. They say all this stuff. Now Errol Spence got his weight down. Now Javante Tank Davis is going hard in the Mayweather gym. And for those same African-American fighters, those black fighters, they're not praising that black excellence that they're seeing from these individual fighters that they critique. So it goes to show you where some people's heads at. Errol Spence, I like what he's doing. Keep it up. Shout out to my dude, Derek James. Shout out to Texas. You know, I'm just looking forward to a good fight November 21st. Call me when it's gangster. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego. And I'm back with some more sports. Get unlimited access to premium content with an ESPN Plus subscription. ESPN Plus offers a variety of content, including specials, behind-the-scenes docuseries like Bruce Lee's Be Water, and much more. With an ESPN Plus subscription, you get access to a ton of classic archive fights and replays from boxing and the UFC. Big names like, hi, I'm Mike Tyson. Come and watch my fight. Floyd Mayweather, easy work. I'm rich. And Manny Pacquiao. Uh, yes, it's up to my promoter. Do, 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 do. Just to name a few. If that's not enough, you could get the ESPN bundle, which includes ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus. All three apps, one low price. You don't want to miss out. Make sure you guys click that link in the description box of all of my videos. Ego, signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.